guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. You're used to dazzled or disappointed pretty much all the time. So I figured I wanna change it up and do like a first impressions. Let's try this stuff on together. I posted that on Instagram and so many of you said yes, probably the, the most results I've ever had on my little YouTube, on my little Instagram following. So I appreciate each and every one of you who responded to that. That really helps me know what you wanna see. And so today we are gonna go through this together, first impressions, kind of talk a little bit about each product that I picked up and just let's let's put it on my face together. So without further ado, let's get started with this. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit of a hot minute since I have done like a chit chat get ready with me or a first impressions and I had posted on Instagram if y'all wanted me to kind of change it up because it's always the dazzles or disappointed and I don't want y'all to get bored and tired of the content just being that. So I figured let's just do a first impressions today. Um, yesterday my order came in for all of the goodies I picked up from the 2D Fruity collection by Too Faced. Now I picked up five products. I wanted to pick up so much more but it adds up very quickly. Um, I almost wish they would have priced them just slightly lower or maybe bundled certain things like some brands are doing now just so that you could get, a, um, get your hands on a few more things but anyways. Um, so I picked up the, just so that you know, the, um, bronzer highlighter duo, one of the blushes in strobe berry. I picked up both eyeshadow palettes, which I mean, if you know me by now, you know that like I, yes, it would have been both. <laughs> and then one of the liquid glitter eyeshadows. I'm kind of regretting not picking up the foundation and one of those lip cushion glosses, but we will see maybe at a later time. So let's just go ahead and get ready together. Let's go over some of these as I put these on. So let's start with the um, eyeshadow palette. So the premise of this um, lineup, which I assume is to kind of give some some options since this is Ulta exclusive, you know the peachy collection is exclusive to Sephora. So now the Tutti Frutti uh, collection is exclusive to Ulta. So this way they kind of both have their own exclusive, you know, it looks pretty um, extensive. So it's definitely giving, gonna give that peachy lineup some good competition. Um, okay, so the eyeshadow palettes, just so that you know, um, they are made in France which is really cool. Okay, so they're made in France. They come with seven pans of product. Um, so also, real quick, before I forget, each thing, because it is fruit themed, each item will smell respective to what is the theme of that product. So the pineapple eyeshadow palette smells like pineapple. Legit smells like pineapple. It smells delicious. And the berry smells like berry. Same thing with everything else. Strawberry smells like strawberries and so on and so forth. Let me show you, I am wanting to do a look with the pineapple palette today. So those of you who are familiar with myself and my channel know that last month was my birthday. We didn't get to go to birthday dinner. So we're actually doing, doing that today. So my dress is blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the, there's a shade I really wanna use from the pineapple palette. So this is what this bad boy looks like. I'm just going to tell you that these are so much bigger than I expected them to be. Let me grab the Urban Decay Aphrodisiac palette that I recently reviewed so that you can see what the difference is. Let's see. Okay. So, the Aphrodisiac palette, you know Urban Decay's palettes are um, more like credit card size. So, this is that size and this is this size. So, side by side so you have an idea significantly bigger and I was not anticipating that. I really thought it was gonna be the size of these and it's not and that was a really pleasant surprise for me. Another little thing you're gonna find is that each product, no matter what the product, as long as it's some sort of compact, has like a little, I don't know, slanted tip right here um, where it's kind of cut off maybe? I don't know. And then the cover hangs over and that just kind of what I love about that is sometimes I have trouble opening eyeshadow palettes. I know. Operator error but super easy because you grab that little overlap and it just goes right open. The inside is really nice. Each product also has a little fruit um, symbol or fruit picture whatever um, on the mirror and then let's see one two three four five six seven yeah. So here are the seven pans of product for Berry, and it smells 
absolutely delicious. Do you remember back in the day being like in, I don't know, elementary school, first grade, whatever, and having like those erasers that smelled like stuff, like fruit or berries or whatever. This totally reminds me of that and I love it. Upon opening it, I was floored with how beautiful these look. And uh, so let me swatch this one for you. Like I said, I wanna use the pineapple one today. So let me swatch this for you. And uh, this is the first time I'm swatching them myself. So this is legit a first impressions. Ooh, this one's super soft. It almost feels like a cream. I'll tell you which one here in a second. So here's the first four. Um, Dazzle, Pink Suede, Razzle, and Buried Treasure. I love the play on words. I just never am that creative, and I always wonder, so who works in these people's marketing departments that they come up with all this stuff? Those are those shades. Let me grab the others. It is hot in here. Ready for fall weather. So ready for fall weather, but those of you who live in Texas and know that fall, we don't really get an actual fall <laughs> season. Our, I live in South Texas, so leaves don't change color. It literally goes from green to like bare, like dead almost. Uh, but I love fall. We do get beautiful days though. Few, but we do get some beautiful days. I don't know why I didn't swatch anything there. Okay, the last three we've got are boysenberry. <laughs> Boys, like B-O-Y-S, boysenberry. Bad to the berry, and that's my jam. So, wow. Oh my, that is amazing pigmentation. Oh my gosh. That, this is I think a like really dark purple. It comes across almost a little black. This is so rich, like plum grape type of shade. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited think it would be this good. Wow, that's intense. Look, it's not even coming off. I'm gonna have to go grab a baby wipe. I forgot to grab some. Hang tight. Okay, so next, that was the berry palette. Let's move on to the pineapple palette and let's just go ahead and straight go into doing a look. Super cute. This packaging is everything and I just, based on packaging, am loving this over the peachy collection for Sephora. So, Oh my gosh, so pretty. And then the pineapple one has the little pineapple <laughs> with the sunglasses. And that's what those look like right there. So let's, I'll give you some swatches as we go. Let's just go ahead and see how this works out. So I'm using my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. I am going to, there's really only one shade I would use in here as like a true transition shade in my crease. And that's this one right here. It's called Passports and pineapples. So let's take this. The, the quality of this, I'm just gonna say it feels hefty. It feels really good quality. The lid is like nice and thick. It's got glitter even on the side. I am so super impressed right now, you guys. We'll see. I'm going in with a light hand because I don't wanna have to spend 20 hours blending or anything. There's not any kick up at all <laughs> for this shade. Now, you know I'm pretty gentle when grabbing my, sh my eyeshadows with the brush, but literally no kick up whatsoever. That's never a deal breaker for me. I don't care about kick up, fallout, all that. To me, that's mint. That's, that's like if you get a really nice eyeshadow look, if it's a good product and it's like giving you great pigmentation and stuff, to me, that, that's just minor. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. I feel like it got super blurry. Let me zoom you guys in just a bit. Here we go. Okay, take a different blending brush and I'm actually gonna take this dark brown one over here. It's the shade Tootie Cutie. I'm very, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting excited too soon, but um, I feel like I smell it as I'm putting it on my eyes. Now, for those of you who are, um, like allergic, not allergic, but very sensitive to, to scents. It's not overpowering. The berry one I feel was stronger than this pineapple one, but I can smell this. But I feel like as soon as I blend it out and I just am done and move on, then it kind of dissipates. So it's not like it 
there are certain things from the peachy collection that they that scent lingers and this you know it's not so much that it lingers loving loving i'm so excited i'm just i feel so kid like okay the two that i really want to use you know i'm all about standout shades so these two right here. This one's kind of a duochrome. It looks like in a certain light it could be green, but in a certain light it could be brown. It looks more green in the pan. And that's really why I wanted to use this, but this gold though. So let me swatch these for you. That's beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Max Blue Brown Pigment. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so I'll just give you those shade names. Sparkling Pineapple and Island Queen. These are stunning. I did a super bad job of swatching that. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's try that again. Okay, so the sparkling pineapple doesn't swatch as amazing as I hoped. So we'll see. We'll see how it looks. It's never a determining factor on whether something's going to be good just based on how it swatches. I've had a whole lot of experience with something being amazing when it didn't swatch that great. So. I did bring over my glitter glue in case we're going to use that one, um, but I don't know which one I want to use. I'm going to use some glitter glue real quick. So let's, I'm not even going to, do I need to wet my brush? I'm not going to. I'm just going to go in with like a regular little paddle brush. And now this pineapple one does have a a lot of fallout kind of like kick up sorry do you see all of like the PC-ness right there um so and I'm not like very aggressive so I oh no I don't know about that let's try it it looks beautiful in the pan I'm wondering you know I'm a like finger type of girl I know that sounds horrible but oh absolutely use your finger <laughs> don't use a brush it'll kind of mess up the pan and finger gives you like pigmentation times a thousand in a second and it is stunning this is so amazing I'm like really excited about this this is what I was kind of hoping the then and now palette would be the 20 year palette Whatever. <laughs> so that looks really good. I'm happy with that. I think that is very pretty. Let's grab a bl uh, brush for inner corner. Mm, I'm going to use this one at the end. These seem to be like both for the berry one, and I haven't swatched this one, but the berry one that had this type of consistency was like a cream almost. And if you go in too hard, it'll kind of like make a dent. So I don't know if it's legit cream shadow or not. I didn't even tell you guys. So it does come with seven pounds of product and, and the net weight is 0.80 grams or 0 0.03 ounces for a total weight of 5.6 grams or 0 0.21 ounces. So let's go in with that one right there. And see, like when I swipe it with So like in the, it's so weird in the middle, like literally I don't, I'm super gentle with my shadows and in the middle, it's like all of a sudden, do you see like the dip now? That's why I say I think they're cream or something, but it's like there's nothing under there. Like there's nothing in the middle to support it. I don't know. Okay, whatever. I think I'm gonna work around that middle part. <laughs> That's weird. I've never had that happen before. It smells so good. So let's move into, I think I'm kind of regretting the shade I got of this glitter eyeshadow. It looks stunning in the bottle. Um, but I had read, I don't remember where, that this was like the least pigmented, which bums me out. Um, this is in the shade Ice Queen. So let's put this, my dress is blue. As I mentioned, I'm going to put this in the lower lash line real quick. Jeez. So the glitter is very uncomfortable if it gets in your eye, just heads up. And I wear contact lenses, so for my contact lens wearers, I mean it's obviously eyeshadow, so it's glitter that is safe for the eye. However, um, it's if it gets in, now I'm putting it on my lower lash line, so it's likely not going to get in your eye, 
let me take care of the rest of my eyes off camera, like eyeliner and um, mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, my friends, eyes are done. Let's move on real quick to the highlighter and um, bronzer. Um, so I don't know if I gave you prices for the eyeshadow palettes. They are $34 each. The little compacts like the blushes and the highlighter uh, bronzer, the banana powder, these are $30 each. You get 0.28 ounces of product and they are made in Italy. Um, the pineapples are the theme for the bronzer highlighter. So let's go ahead and slap some of this on. Same thing, you have the little corner with the little overlap that lets you open it somewhat easy, maybe. There we go. <laughs> You've got the little pineapple also on here. So I'm going to go in with a smaller brush than what I usually do for my bronzer only because it's a split pan and I'm not looking to mix the shades. So let's go in with this. I am for reference a light medium skin tone. Um, and I feel like this is going on very natural, but it makes me wonder how it would work for you deeper skin tone ladies and my ladies of color. Um, I, I'm, again, I'm light medium and do you, I don't know if you really see much. That's the only thing. Let me swatch it for you. I feel like it's got like a layer of hard, not hard pan, but like a film on top. It's got a beautiful sheen, um, but this is how it looks like on my skin tone. So it looks, I mean, I went pressed a little bit, so maybe you just kind of have to get through that first layer in order to really get good payoff. I am loving the look that it's giving. Absolutely loving it. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that's the bronzer. If you know my routine, I end up doing cream highlighter first, and I am going to do that because I have dinner tonight. Typically, in testing this out, I'd be like, no, let's just see how it, you know, applies just like that. But I'm having dinner tonight, and I want to go all out. So let me grab my cream highlighter. And then what I do is after my cream highlight, I'm like super high maintenance sometimes. I'm going to go in with my blush. Now, the question is... The, the pink's not gonna go with this look, that's the only bummer, but for purposes of this first impression, I'm interested in the apricot compact, but maybe down the road. So I don't, I think the, I think this pink's gonna look a little bit too much because of the look, it's the, a peachy blush would have been ideal. But <laughs> this one, let's go in with the light one. The light one has sparkle for sure. So if you like a matte, total matte blush, then this duo is not for you. This side that I'm using does have a sheen, uh, so, and it has the glitter. I can see the glitter particles on my cheek. Nothing super chunky. It's very classy. <laughs> it's classy spark. It's classy sparkle. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Let's go into the highlight. You know highlights my thing. Okay, don't let me down too fast. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Using my A23, let's grab some of this bad boy. Now it looks a little bit darker than what I would typically go for in a gold highlight, but wow, that's pretty. It's very pretty. It's not super wet looking. I think that's what it is. I like those super wet looking ones here lately. And I think that's what, now it also has a, I don't know, I feel like it has a slight bronzy type of tint. It's that kind of highlighter that makes you look like you just came out of the sun, like adds a little bit of that suntan look. Um, so I think that also has something to do with it. All right, guys, that's that. Um, what else? Um, I forgot to mention, this is $20 um, and it is made in the USA. How funny that all these things are made in different places. Okay, now... We have to decide what we want to wear for lipstick real quick. So let me grab something and I'll be right back. For lipstick, I am going to end up wearing the ColourPop Come On Sis Luxe Lipstick from the Shayla Collection. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and go through these real quick. Let me tell you what my thoughts are. Obviously, this is the first time I have ever swatched them, put them to use, whatever. So um, obviously, uh, I was a little more limited on the all the shades that I use, especially with the eyeshadow palettes. So let's start off with the eyeshadow palettes. I love these things. These are, I think, the stars of the show. I This is everything I wanted the um, 
20 years palette to be. I feel like the pigmentation is great. They blend really easily. I had absolutely no fallout when I started to do my liner and mascara. I realized, oh, I need to let you guys know about that. I had no fallout whatsoever. Keep in mind, I used my finger for that gold sparkly shade. Um, so for the berry palette, your standout sparkly shade, I guess you could say, is this dark, dark purple. It's the one that has the glitter. Um, but other than that, your cream type shade, that other one, like I, that ended up having that little dent, is this pink one right here. If you go in with a heavy finger, not heavy hand, if you go in with a heavy finger, you get like a dip like that. So keep that in mind. So to me, these are the stars of the show. For $34, I thought at first it was, I'm like, wow, that's expensive. Why not price them like at $29, like Urban Decay for the little aphrodisiac palette? Now I see why. They're hefty. They are larger than I anticipated. They've got seven shades. They're very good quality. These just were a home run for me. They smell delicious, and you can create quite the beautiful eye look with these. Moving on, let's go to this um, bad boy right here. Now, I did experience it going into my eye. I don't know if that's just because I was using it on my lower lash line and not, you know, usually if you kind of pat something like that on your lid, you don't really experience it going into your eye unless it's th as it wears throughout the day. Now, what I will say about this, yes, I do feel like I was expecting more pigmentation. I think what makes up most of the color in this tube is the glitter because the glitter is very blue, um, tur blue turquoise. I feel like I see some silver. So... I feel like it performed better than what I had hoped, but I still don't know that I'm sold over the moon for this. I do, however, want to go once they uh, release them in store, I want to go see and swatch the other shades because like I said, I had read that this ended up being the least pigmented out of all of them. So that means that maybe the others are actually quite beautiful. So that was my experience with that. Again, not having used it on my lid, but on my lower lash line. Moving on to the bronzer highlighter. Again, I love how it smells. I am over the moon for the bronzer side of this um, compact. I feel like it gave a warmth to my skin. It did provide such a like glowy type look to my skin. I again reiterate I am a light medium uh, undertone or light medium skin tone and I did have to really work at getting the pigment I think there's a layer on top there that once you get through that will make a huge difference because it seemed like the more I used it the more the color was starting to come out as far as the highlighter side it is very pretty I don't know that it is going to be my favorite highlighter of all time I can usually tell the first time I use a highlighter that I'm absolutely over the moon bend over backwards crazy over it and this just did not have that it didn't speak to me on that level it is still very pretty and it's nice that it's in a compact they're both in here together so if you want to travel you've got highlight and bronzer in one and I love that concept um, let's see going on to the blush uh, it I love how natural it looks with still giving my skin a healthy flush slash look again I used the lighter of the two and it's the one that has the glitter it has a little bit more of a sheen so let me give you a swatch of the other one so that is the darker of the two and then there is the lighter of the two um, and so they do they are very pink. This is the one I used, obviously significantly lighter. This one looks like it has a little bit more pigmentation. I do like it very much. I like that there's two different tones in here. Again, for travel, you can have like basically two for the price of one in here. You just don't have to pack as much. I am very interested in picking up one other one. It might be the, I think I said the apricot. There's one that I think it's the cherry that looks a little bit too deep for me, but that looks like it would be stunning on my deeper skin tone ladies. And uh, so this one I liked very, very much. I think that brings us to the end. Um, the only downside I'm going to tell you real quick about the um, eye shadow palette this one right here this one that I said like as I was using it it kind of sank so I opened it up a little while ago as I was like finishing up my mascara and stuff and where I grabbed some product with my brush you know how I said I was going to move to the edges and work around that middle piece that had kind of sunk in it also has sunk in so it's like this whole piece is sunken in it's almost like 
I don't know what to make of that. Like, is it hollow on the inside? Why would it do that? It's like it's caving in or something. That's like, it really is bizarre. That's the only thing that I really disliked about the eyeshadow palettes. And like, how long is this shade going to last me? Because it's already, it's like, dissipating before my eyes. I don't know. So that is the only thing and I can, I don't know this for sure, I can only assume that the berry one will do the same. It's that pink shade that I told you is a cream color that is like the third shade in there. So I don't know. It's this one right here. So when I swatched it, it created a little bit of a dip, not as much as the one in the pineapple palette. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Other than that, these are the stars of the show for me. I hands down would pick these up, but I love eyeshadow palettes. I think these are really great buys. I would have, like I said, liked to see these priced slightly lower because even with this, it added up very quickly and I was like, okay, like, do I need to take something out of my basket? And there were so many other things I wanted to try out. It's just that, you know, I mean, money doesn't allow. So it would have been kind of nice with such an extensive collection like this to price them a little bit lower, uh, just, you know, so that you can maybe get your hands on a few other things. But other than that, I think it's really awesome. I just, uh, the, I'm loving this collection. I think I might be loving this more than the peachy collection. I don't know. It's, it's too early to say that on a first impression. Love it. Blown away. I really thought this was going to be kind of like a mediocre, here you go, like something to, no, this is a very well thought out um, collection. It's almost like something for everyone. I, I just, I love it. I think Too Faced put a lot of time and effort into this. I love the smell. I love the unique covers on all these different things. Um, and it's just, uh, I like it very much. I think this is a win. All right, my friends, before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Matthew 5, 9, and it says, Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I hope you found this video helpful. It's probably a little more lengthy than what we're used to in a Dazzled or Disappointed, but I really had a good time doing this first impressions and just kind of trying it out together with you guys. It's been a really long time since I've done that. I think I've only done it once or twice over the life of this channel. If you liked what you saw, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of this YouTube family. I love this YouTube family very, very much. Y'all are always so kind, so receptive, and send beautiful and sweet, uplifting comments my way. You guys really make my day a lot of the time. So thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye, everybody.